They've never seen. You have to, you know, to run a democracy, you must have a free press. They must bring you the information so you can make a decision. And they have not seen, uh, you know, what we have done to these people and to this country. You in Europe have seen it. Uh, you, you have no problem showing images of it. You know how wrong it is. You didn't support the war. I wonder why. Are you so much wiser than, uh, than America? Is your intelligence agent so much better? You know, the fact is you know uh, what the reality of uh, invading a Muslim country is. You've done it. I was basically financed by a fluke from a high-definition video company that didn't even know what the hell I was doing. You know, uh, the Valley of Elah was basically financed by a French company. These are not financed by mainstream American companies, except when Robert Redford and Tom Cruise decide to make a movie. Then you got a movie stars that have very strong feelings about what's going on, especially Redford, you know, who made, you know, a lot of mo political movies all through his career. That's the only reason that movie got financed. So it's not surprising to me at all. Who the hell's going to finance a movie that's going to show a kind of negative picture of our involvement uh, in a war that we're prosecuting at the time? No one. Pour tourner plus librement un film sur la guerre en Irak, De Palma s'est donc éloigné des studios américains et a retrouvé le cinéma indépendant de sa jeunesse. Et pourtant, même dans cette configuration et même avec la filmographie de De Palma, tout ne s'est pas passé comme prévu entre le cinéaste et sa production.